Chat, hello. Welcome back. Wahoo yaha. Wahoo yaha. Heckmaster, thank you for the 16 months. Wow. Can't be live, it's been a year already. Thanks for all it. the streams. I've had a great time here, and your streams always improve my day. Also, your music is awesome, and I always love listening to it. Keep gammon, dudes rock. Thank you. Thank you so much, Infernal Fay. Uh, thanks for the full 12 months. That's a whole year. <laughs> that was a typo? I thought it just said believe weird. You could have you could have never said anything. I would have assumed it was the the TTS. What's going on, everyone? It's a Saturday evening. I've got uh, a soda here. Some Mountain Dew. And we're gonna finish this game. Contradiction. 
Saturday Night Gaming. Uh, so the last major thing that happened. <laughs> thank you for the, the flowchart. Kate dead. Emma fucks. Simon bruise. James creeps. Ryan cults. Paul death penalty immediately. <laughs> Uh, Pecan Thunder, thank you for the six months. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? I didn't know he did his own. He makes his own homebrew. I wasn't aware. Uh, Melodious Gunk, thank you for the three months. What was the last thing that happened? We met, um... What was his name, even? It was, uh... It's like, the, it's the, the father of the guy who runs the cult. Was it Paul? Is that his name? Sure. I don't remember anyone's names. I think I think Ryan is the son and Paul is the dad, right? Uh, let's continue. It's 8 p.m. Better question Paul thoroughly. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna question the shit out of him. Was he in the reading room, I think? Go. What the fuck are you guys doing in here? Feel your soul. Lifting. Then wait. For the moment to break. Free. Oh yeah, this isn't a cult. The fake fire in the middle of the room, the like, Excellent. the like fire green screen overlay. Well, awesome. You come back later, please. What's going on here? Oh, I'm gonna mute alerts too. Please leave. Uh, Tiger Lily, thank you for the 25 months. I have to ask you yet, and uh, time's ticking by. Leave. Leave. Okay. What do you mean leave? You said I could stop in. Am I insane? He straight up offered for us to see the the session. What on earth is that about? It looked like they were burning woolen dolls. A woolen doll burning ceremony. What a very odd course this is. What a very odd I'm gonna turn this game down just a little bit more. What a very odd course this is. Uh okay. Well, we're not allowed back in there anymore. No, there's nobody in here. Why am I even? <laughs> okay, so what did I get from that? Doll burning ceremony. Epic. Uh, okay, I guess I can't talk to Paul because it's 8 p.m. Um, better question Paul thoroughly. Yeah, I guess we could just go ask everyone about the doll burning ceremony. Let's start with... Ryan. No, not Ryan. James. What the, what the fuck? Shout out to Locklight. Okay. <laughs> the fuck was that? Remote control lock. A remote control for some sort of lock was found outside of the Atlas Training Center. Okay. Yeah, it does look like a car fob, doesn't it? Uh, let's go ask James. Love the blue filter they're using to try and make it look like it's getting later in the night. Yeah. Shooting day for night. It's awesome. I love it. A few more questions. Ding, ding. Mind. Hey, what do you know about this shit, homeboy? What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? What sort of doll burning? It doesn't mean anything You know, like the you. burning of a doll? Should it? No, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, James. Thank you. Probably Real fucking later. helpful you are. You're supposed to know about this, like, mysticism shit. <laughs> you're- you're the guy. You sh you're supposed to know about this. Fucking idiot. <laughs> What's, uh, what's going on over here? Can we check out this? Now that it's 8 p.m.? There's a car here now! <gasps> Ooh, 
No fucking way! So, those are Ryan's guitars. Kept in a garage. Not really the best place to keep them. Bro, I want to investigate. Let me back in. Ryan's guitar collection. Alright, well, let's go back and ask James about that, just to be thorough. To be thorough. I have to be thorough. I'm the world's greatest detective, after all. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Yo, what do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? James wouldn't know about uh, it, so never right. mind. Thank you. <laughs> you ever seen this guy playing a guitar? What do you know? Uh... Go to Rebecca's pub? James has never heard music, ever. You mean he hasn't heard Stupid by Brockhampton? Is that what you're telling me right now? A couple more questions, if that's I can't okay. even imagine. Hey, what do you know about this? What do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. What? Follow-up question. What does that mean? <laughs> Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> he tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. It's sad, really. I just let him play in his room. As long as he plays in there, I don't mind. A hand-eye coordination thing? Bad coordination? You made that word up! <laughs> okay, so... Knows that doll burning is used on the course. Made the dolls for Ryan. Ryan is practically dyspraxic. Ryan wastes money on guitars. Let's Ryan play in his room. <laughs> like a like a toddler. Be back later on if that's Yeah, okay. you can go play in your room if you want. <laughs> like a child. Uh, yo, Simon. What's good, please. dude? Thank you. What do you know about the doll burning? What do you know about doll burning? Not on the course. It's a ritual thing. It's, uh, getting rid of things that you don't need. Throw it into the fire. And that's a good thing? Well, yeah, it helps you getting rid of things you don't need. So you can you said that. control again. So what are the masks for? They're just to help you get into the right frame of mind. Uh, just get you into the zone, you know, help with the trance. A trance? Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, it's like self-hypnosis. We do it on the course sometimes. It's like just a rave? Get into the right frame like, a, like a trance rave? So you hypnotize yourself. How do you do that? Just stare into a mirror and chant something, you know, just say the same thing over and over again. Or you could just close your eyes and put yourself into a trance. Some people can do that. Some people really, yeah, like, say shit like this well, out yeah. loud and, like, don't Hypnosis realize. Hypnosis doesn't work the way that most people think it does. You can't just be hypnotized if you don't want to be hypnotized. But you can learn to hypnotize yourself. What did you say it was called? Auto-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis, auto-hypnosis, same thing, really. What did you say it was called? Auto-erotic asphyxiation? Auto on the course. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll have to, to look uh, into that. Ask around about this. What you, what you call it? The, the auto blowjob? Oh, sounds pretty interesting. Doll burning, about, uh, about getting rid of what you don't need. Masks help with the trance. <laughs> Every time I see that word, I'm, I'm immediately thinking about trance music. Course involves auto hypnosis or self hypnosis. Thanks. Auto-hypnosis induced by using mirrors can't be hypnotized unless you want to be. Okay. What about this? What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? Uh, not a whole lot. I know he brought a guitar to one of the groups once, at the end of one of the stages. That's the only time I've seen him with a guitar. Once brought- <laughs> okay. He has three of them! 
And he's only ever brought one of them once? Simon told Jenks about the auto-hypnosis techniques used at Atlas. Uh... What did you say about the fucking scrying mirror? It's all about James. Just, a, just James stuff. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Need Emma to know about this. What do you know? What do you know about doll burning? Doll burning? I think it was something that they did in the course. Simon mentioned it. No, they didn't do that when you were there. No. Hmm. Awesome. Heard about doll burning. Didn't do anything like that when she went. Sounds like you're full of shit, but I believe it. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? I know he plays, because he tried to buy one off me. Do you play? I used to. I used to be in a band. Oh. But I was a singer as well, so I got away with it. Singer as well? Yeah, I used to sing in a band every night. But uh, sometimes it was in a pub, but usually at Rebecca's. She was in a what band. Was that called? It was called Blackstone. Oh, shit! And uh, this guy from a record company once came to see us, and he said the band was rubbish, but that I was good. So after that, I don't think they liked me much, and then we broke up after college. Can't hide talent. <laughs> okay. Ryan once offered to buy Emma's guitar, used to sing in a pub band called Blackstone. Band often played at the pub, was once offered a singing contract. Okay. Do you know what auto-hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. Yeah? That's weird. That's odd. Let's Thank go you. talk to... Can we even talk to Ryan? I don't even know if it's possible. Uh, I guess let's just go try. After learning all this shit. He's probably still in the session. Doing all of his cult shit in there. Enter the atrium! Yeah, I can't do anything. Okay. Let's go back to James. James time. Ask you a couple more things, please. Uh, guitar collection, auto hypnosis. Ever heard of auto hypnosis, James? Self hypnosis. Yeah. And what yeah. do you know about it? It's another name for scrying. Some people call it auto-hypnosis, I call it scrying. Right. So you're saying scrying is just self-hypnosis? Scrying? You can scry on anything. I don't use a mirror. I can scry watching the clouds. Maybe the water on a lake in the moonlight. Or a fireplace. When you're watching the water, what happens? Do you go into a trance? Bro, he's been scrying this entire time. You go... Deeper and deeper, you swim around. Try not to go too deep. Because if you go too deep, you start drowning. And you get dragged down to the bottom. As long as you stay swimming, come to the surface again. Oh, I can't go deep into the darkest the parts really of my mind. It's like a journey to a place people talk about, but no one's ever seen. You're thinking about Kate, aren't you? What makes you say that? Well, that's what I'm here you to... Bought a mirror. Sold of course I'm thinking about year. Kate! What do you think I'm even Was fucking here for? using mirrors like that? No idea. But she bought one. Right. Bro, what if you were talking to someone and you found out the entire time that they were scrying in the middle of your conversation? It's disgusting! Auto-hypnosis is another name for scrying. Scrying possible without a mirror. Sold a scrying mirror to Kate Mine last year. Uh, didn't you say you don't do that? <laughs> Only makes... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I got you, motherfucker. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's 
dude is either high or very suspicious. He's scrying. He's high off the scry. Better question Paul thoroughly. You should call the chief for an update. There are also things you haven't asked Rebecca, Ryan, and Paul about yet. Well, I can't fucking... I can't talk to Ryan and Paul. I guess let's go talk to Rebecca and then call the chief. Rebecca! Bro, I know Rebecca is annoyed as hell that I keep coming in and bothering her at work. If you don't mind. While she's fucking on the clock. Do you know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? Ooh! Owned! Take that, bro! We just do the same thing that everyone does! Ever heard of advertising, consumer? Um, consumerism Perhaps, much? Moment. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Let's go call the chief. <laughs> really makes you think. Go on, Janks, what do you know? Not much really, sir, except I've discovered Ryan plays the guitar. I found out Emma was in the band, too. What, with Rand? No, I don't think so. Not sure, actually. Well, why don't you find out... It totally were. ...when you've got something useful to tell me, yeah? Yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Bye-bye. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Didn't get fucking anything out of that. Uh... The Woods? Okay. Yep, jetty is looking nice. That's a that's a lake right there. I I feel like we should visit the woods like every time it's a new time of day, just out of pure like chance that there will be something there. Uh yeah, I don't think we can we can talk to them, right? I can't fucking I can't talk to Ryan and Paul. What are you talking about? Unless I can? <gasps> Wait a minute. He's upstairs. Well, there's there's no I don't think he can go upstairs. Yeah, there's no there's no option for that. I just had an idea, though. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I was like, just put on the mask and go into the fucking... Just walk into the room and just be like, yeah, I'm here for the session. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I genuinely thought that was the solution. I haven't asked Ryan and Paul about it yet. Uh, third eye flyer. <laughs> I've got this fucking. I could do Salvia. <laughs> Try using this. <laughs> I could sit out here in the waiting room and do fucking Salvia. <laughs> <laughs> Use! Use Salvia! <laughs> Now's the time! Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... Out here? Uh... Cardboard mask? No. Doesn't work. Shit! I think there's got to be something I'm missing somewhere else then, but that that's weird because it would normally 
if if all I had to do was go talk to someone and like figure out what the contradiction is, it would say here, there's got to be a contradiction somewhere. There, there has to be one. Is Paul at his house right now? Paul slash Ryan. They both live at the same place, right? Yeah, I I don't think so. Oh, I okay. I picked the behind their house option on accident. Turns out I can go knock Ask on the door. More things, please. Oh my god! Oh my god! Talking to Paul now, I guess. Uh, what did what do you know about this? What can you tell me about doll burning at Atlas? Not very much. It's one of Ryan's ideas. My son is under the illusion that he's a genius. What a fucking prick, dude. Doll burning was Ryan's idea. I was under the impression that he was a genius. Does um, Ryan play the guitar? Ryan? Ryan couldn't get a tune out of a radio. He's tone deaf. Okay, so he's never tried to go professional. If he did try, it was never going to happen. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What a callous man. Can you tell me more about the auto-hypnosis techniques used on the course? We don't use hypnosis on the course. Not at all. Not anymore. So how Stop grinning sinisterly! Used? Hypnosis is probably the wrong word, Inspector. It's nothing to do with the trances or things like that. It was... It was meant to force... <clears throat> to help students. Oh, bro. Did you force them? You can't force anybody into being hypnotized. You have to want to be hypnotized. It's not something out of your control. You can't be hurt or damaged in any way by hypnosis. So you've never put pressure on students to enter into hypnosis? It would be impossible to do so. Would it? Would it now? Auto-hypnosis not used on the course anymore, impossible to be hurt or damaged by hypnosis, not possible to force students to be hypnotized. Okay, let's go down the line of all the things he said. Because it's we interviewed him last stream, which was two days ago. Only met Kate a few times. Last saw her at the meeting on Friday around 7 p.m. Possibly spoke to her. Kate was drunk. <laughs> Doesn't know if Kate had lost her driving license. Didn't see it anywhere. Doesn't know anything about Simon's bike. Dude, what's the deal with Simon's bike? There's gonna be some huge mystery surrounding Simon's bike that we haven't gotten into yet. Paul doesn't know about the bottles. Doesn't know about Simon's homebrew. <laughs> what's going on with Simon, dude? He's got so many secrets. Necklace looks familiar, but can't say for certain. Bird and cage is a symbol used on the course. Bought a freedom necklace for a student. Insists he didn't buy it for Kate. Hasn't seen the mask before. Thinks mask is from Monarch Costumes. Ryan uses the shop. Wasn't in the pub last Friday. Didn't hear about the argument. Poster designed by an agency last year. Business started last year. Knows the mirror is used for scrying. Never used a scrying mirror. No interest in scrying. Atlas doesn't use scrying on the course. Hasn't heard of Salvia. <laughs> Has no interest in taking drugs. Lame. Atlas doesn't allow drugs or alcohol on the site. Says Liam was bright, confident, and outgoing. Knew Liam had personal problems. Was at Atlas the night Liam died. Didn't see Liam after the course. Liam had been drinking all night at the seminar. Third Eye was Paul's idea. Third Eye very similar to Atlas. Liam's death was unavoidable. Okay. Fingers were symbols were the student's idea. Atlas encourages ideas over morality. Reluctantly abides by the law. 
Uh, phrase designed to summarize Atlas's objectives. Course objective is to free students from their past. Students encouraged to free themselves from guilt. No place for guilt in business. Doll burning was Ryan's idea. Ryan can't play the guitar. Ryan couldn't have become professional. Auto hypnosis is not used on the course anymore. Anymore. Possible to be hurt or damaged by hypnosis. Not possible to force students to be hypnotized. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting, sir. That's real interesting. I can't talk to uh to Ryan. I can only talk to Paul. So it would seem that this is what we're working with here. Uh Liam's death. Uh personal problems. Where was the one where he said Liam's death was unavoidable. Third eye, Paul's idea. Liam's death was unavoidable. Impossible to be hurt or damaged by hypnosis. Okay, fuck. <laughs> That's not it. Uh, <clears throat> not used on the course anymore. Let's see, let's see. It's gotta be something with these, like, last three things we got, right? Ryan's guitar collection. Ryan can't play the guitar. And to become a professional. Uh. Gar gardening, not his thing. Becca would know about the leaves. Remember, this game gets pretty tough later on. Oh, yeah, I imagine. It's gotta. Doll burning was Ryan's idea. Ryan can't <laughs> Ryan can't play the guitar, dude. What a brick. Feels weird that you can't use the other testimonies to find the contradiction. Yeah, I was saying that the last stream, but like it makes sense because it would become like really complicated if you could just pull up anyone's like what someone else said to contradict it. Uh Why do I feel like it's gotta have something to do with the guitar? I feel like because that was like the secret thing that we like could have possibly not found that that must have something to do with it. Ryan can't play the guitar. What am I gonna do? Play the guitar? I can't play the guitar. I really love a mesh night. Not possible to force students to be hypnotized. Liam's death. Didn't see Liam after the course. Third eye flyer. Why did he say? Why did he say? Let me replay this. Why did he say when we brought up the third eye flyer that Liam's death was unavoidable? What do you know about this? No, I love you. Graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. Well, these things happen. Was it your idea? The suicide? Third eye. Yeah, I suppose it was. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And Third Eye was the same as Atlas, teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector, any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating. All oh, that comment things. pisses me off so much. I'm getting mad at this fictional man in this FMV game. Well, 
I mean they ate McDonald's. You're not gonna investigate McDonald's, are you? Fuck you, Paul. I'm gonna beat you to death like a gorilla. Uh... We're subjective to free students from their past. Student's idea... Reluctantly abides by the law. Oh no! Be back let's later on. let's see if our hint okay. thing has changed at all. <clears throat> the show tips. What? There are also three things you haven't asked Ryan about yet. I can't ask Ryan! Ryan's not home! He's doing his fucking ceremony. What the fuck? I'm, maybe there is a way to ask him. If I just use this, it's just gonna show me the guitars again, right? The remote control lock. Jenks has already used the remote control lock here. Yeah, he sure has. Uh, what is this? I just now noticed the license plate just says random. <laughs> R-A-N-D-M. Pretty random. Hmm. What's down here? Nothing. This has got to be for something later. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Feels it feels like there's a way to talk to Ryan that I just like haven't done. If it's telling me that. You haven't fucking you haven't spoken to Ryan yet. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Want to know what's happening in there? Maybe I like lost my chance. Yeah, I can't I can't do shit. Hmm. Yeah, the screwdriver was for, um... It was so we could get uh, a thing out of the ground. In the woods. And the silver key was for... We did use it on something, I can't remember what, though. I don't know. Hey, Ryan. Hey, yo, Ryan. I'm looking for you, bud. Anybody here? No. No use for the silver key here. I don't even, what did we use the silver key for? Padlock to the pub's back door. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You're a cop, aren't you? Why can't you kick the door down and fire your gun in every direction without regard or concern for human life? <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Where's my where's my cop abilities? Why my abilities, of course. Village center. Maybe check the back of the pub again. I have entered the outbuilding, and there's nothing else in here. <laughs> nah, no, doesn't do shit. Thought Jenks was just a private detective. I 
Well, he's calling the chief. <laughs> Do I have a chief of my private detective agency? Probably not. I keep calling in to talk to the chief. Hey, uh... Simon. Couple more questions, if that's okay? Oh, right, I already asked him about this shit. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'm... For exactly one moment... I'm gonna open it up for suggestions. Hit me, chat. Liam was drunk at Atlas, but not allowed. I think I tried that. Try leaving and never coming back. Okay. I feel like I tried that, but maybe not. Okay, shut up. <laughs> A few more questions, please. Go into the woods and smoke the salvia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Doesn't allow drugs or alcohol. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Maybe I tried that on someone else. So if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Well, we did give him various warnings. Did try to stop him, but uh, didn't work. <laughs> but you let him stay on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. We're not the police. We can't enforce these rules. If they pay their fees, they're entitled to stay on the course. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Really? Because that I was about to do that next. At Atlas? No. Is there a kitchen? Why? Do you want to go down there and check? Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs in there or alcohol. Whether I find alcohol <laughs> at Atlas or not, okay. it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. Wait, can we... Wait, we get to go to a new area? I think so. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. I think we just unlocked a new fucking area. Exciting stuff. So the yeah! must be down the corridor there if what Paul said is true. I knew we were going to go in this fucking hallway at some point. Oh yeah, investigated Jenks. Okay. Okay, weird weird cups. Okay, dishes. Okay. Yep. Looking pretty normal. Okay. What the Interesting. fuck? Interesting. Well, there's a TV right there. This is porn. Player. I don't think anyone will mind if I have a quick look at this. This is porn. It says triple X on it. Thank God they have this set up for me, ready to go. <laughs> Try a DVD from the pile. Okay, yeah, sure. It, there could be anything on this. Anything could be on this, this fucking DVD. The professional it camera work. Freedom from many vices that society had traditionally believed to be virtues. Self-criticism, self-doubt, guilt. 
Ladies and gentlemen. This is a really interesting These angle to start a gay porn with. These are sins. Born of a I'm like invested. Implanted deep within our minds and collective consciousness by governments and religions through the ages with the sole purpose of preventing the masses stopping us <laughs> stopping us from achieving the same success, happiness and freedom enjoyed by those at the very pinnacle of society. I'm going to show you that common morality is nothing more than the cynical creation of an elite desperate to stay in power. An elite hell-bent on preventing you from reaching your full potential. He's not talking about the ruling okay, class. He's talking about for pursuing success. lizards. But the good news is that you can take back control. You can become the success you deserve to be. Atlas will give you a unique and powerful advantage. Life in all its technicolor glory can be yours. All that you have to do is to stay, embrace it, enjoy it. This looks like the face of a guy who just wants to help me. Ambition. <laughs> Welcome to Atlas. <laughs> he just wanted, wants to see me live my best life. Clearly. He's got like fucking meat sweats, dude. He's <laughs> fucking like shallow ass eyes. I wouldn't trust this guy to watch my dog. Is there another DVD? Is this the only one? I guess that's it. Uh, suspicious triple X DVD. I am so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm gonna put this on and see a fucking gaping asshole in front of me. Get ready for butthole chat. What the fuck? Just, why would you film that? Well, what? that was odd. Looked like someone pickpocketing, but why make a video of it? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna bet right now that they, they made students do this as like an initiation. Go, go steal some guy's wallet. And we'll let you into our cult. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Alright, well, I got some questions for Paul! Let's go and pay Paul a visit, shall we? i ask you a couple more things, please. Seen this before? The writing looks familiar, but no. What? <laughs> the writing looks familiar? Would you recognize the letter X? You dumb asshole! <laughs> Thank you. <Probably laughs> the fuck are you talking later. about? Go talk to James. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Seen this before? No. What is it? Do you recognize it? No. Should I? Oh my god, James, you are not any fucking help. You fucking suck, uh, dude. The moment. Thank you. <laughs> you fucking suck, bro. <laughs> Every time I think you're gonna be there for me, you got nothing. You're supposed to be my man on the inside. I wonder if there's anybody in the restaurant. If you don't mind. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. 
Yeah, just ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Be back later on if that's okay. But he's always telling me to ask Ryan. Ryan's busy. Okay, there's nobody in here. Uh, Simon and Emma. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen this before? No. No, sorry. Awesome! Okay, that's it for now. Emma, you've Thank gotta you. know about this. You've gotta know about this shit. Have you seen this before? No. Don't think so. Come on! Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> Motherfucker. Paul and Ryan both need to be asked about that DVD. There's also four things you haven't asked Ryan about yet. Whoa, what whoa. the fuck? He stole my wallet! Oh my god, he stole my wallet. The DVD. Oh, the DVD! That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. Monarch costumes! Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bag used in mugging. Bag from a shop called Monarch Costumes was used during the mugging. What the fuck? Okay. Well, now we gotta ask everyone about this bag. I got a brand new bag! A few more questions, please. Thank you. Seen this anywhere before? Nope. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> He's got all the answers. <laughs> He's got all the fucking answers. Oh my god. <laughs> Ask nope. you a couple more things, please. Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognize the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at You're straight up lying someone to me. who may have been there tonight? No. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times. Found a contradiction, time. bitch. He's a strange boy. Work experience. As a cleaner. Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. Why are you smiling? Doesn't know where the bag is from. Doesn't know where the bag is from. Doesn't know where the bag is from, he says. <laughs> I got you! Do you visit Monarch costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, uh, I didn't have anything to do with your mugging inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Go on. Did the Ryan fuck does that Jason mean? to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan at some point told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So when he saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favor by uh, well, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best examples. Oh my god. So what's on the DVD Don't talk to me about so fucking special. Darwin. All right, it was something I did myself a little. I'm gonna twist your head around until it comes off. To amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasize the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I, I, would show them how it was done. Oh, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards, no harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? 
Third eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you mm. think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Much as the force might like it. It doesn't divide neatly. You're being so blacks. literal. I didn't... St it, I wasn't literally stealing their no, wallets. I was doing it metaphorically and also literally. But the metaphorical part is what's important you know, here, officer. I was, I was stealing their baggage. Not their bags. The bags weren't involved. Claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? Paul's dying later death the same stunt. Night. It's just all a bit too suspicious. Paul confessed that he stole wallets and purses as a stunt at Atlas. Okay. All right. Let's go ask James. He's sure to know all about it. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> James wouldn't know anything about Paul or his stunt. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I like the, uh, I like the little, um... I like the little bandit mask that we drew in our, in our note here about it. That's cute, Jenks. Uh, oh, I don't need to ask Paul. Doing Rebecca. Ask about a few more things, please. Did you know about Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he <laughs> did on the course. Pretty Stunt. telling answer. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what? in the summer, I didn't stay long. Excuse me? Doesn't know about Paul's stunt. Paul often throws fancy dress parties. Last party Paul threw was sometime in the summer. Okay. Be back later on if that's okay. All right, Paul. <laughs> Couple more questions if that's okay. I wish I hadn't asked. See this. Oh, I didn't ask her about the bag! Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. This is for a party, I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. What do you, what do you mean, something like that? What the fuck do you mean? Doesn't recognize this particular mask. Masks are used during Atlas seminars. Scores. Okay, 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 Simon. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What, did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's, it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone, or, uh, doing something unusual. Like, like wearing a maid outfit. Students. I mean, uh, well, like... We didn't do anything uh, like that, but... I, you I, have I to didn't... tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. <sighs> it seems a bit odd for a business course. It works, though. <laughs> or does it? Does it, Simon? <clears throat> Hasn't heard about Paul's stunt. Was told at Atlas to do something risky. Not allowed to hurt or offend others. Thank you. Probably be back later. He fu he put it on, dude. He put on the the nurse outfit. Do you uh, know the shop? Have you used it? 
No, but I know where it is. <clears throat> okay. What do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then? <sighs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at Third Eye? Yes. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? No. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right. What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you could do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. No. I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Joined Third Eye after leaving college. Was at Third Eye when Paul pulled the, st the stunt. Simon doesn't know Emma went to Third Eye. Claims Third Eye was abusive. Yeah, no shit. Third Eye has stopped its abusive tactics. Okay. Okay. Uh... Problem at college. She said some. She said like some shit about necklaces. Is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace called a freedom necklace. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. Necklace was an unwanted gift. Uh. God, there's so much. What a what a drum what a fucking dramatic town this is. The drama. Uh, went on an Atlas seminar with Simon. Only went once to Atlas. Had been to a similar course before. Yeah. Now that's not a contradiction, but I figured I could try those together. So that well, that's the similar course she had went to before, I guess. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay. What's my uh, what's my shit say? There are things you haven't asked Rebecca and Ryan about yet. Yeah, I forgot to ask Rebecca about the bag. So let's go back and do that, I guess. Motherfucker. We're gonna go to this shop at some point, right? We have to. A few more questions, please. Yeah, bag used in mugging. Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop costume shop just outside the village. Have you used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. Local costume shop. Thinks Ryan may have used the shop in the past. Thank you. Okay, that lines up. Later. That lines up. It's gotta be this way, right? If we if we were gonna go to the costume shop, it would have to be over here. But I don't think we can. <laughs> there are five things you haven't asked Ryan about yet. Five things, dude. Maybe their shit is done now. Five whole things. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Mm, corridor? Did he, did he straight up just, like, put it back into the... Oh, I can't. I can't investigate anymore. I was like, what if that guy that stole it straight up just, like, put it back where I found it? <laughs> DVD from the pile. Paul's theft stunt. Try using this. Yeah, I think no matter what, it's always going to be this one DVD, even though there's like five of them just sitting there. You 
fuck. Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't even see the huge- Let me just play that. Oh! One more time. There we go. Got a new job here, have some grocery money. Hexblading, thank you so much. Holy shit. A hundred bucks. What am I even gonna fucking... What, what am I gonna do about this? Something must be done. Uh... What is this game called? <laughs> Contradiction. Contradiction spot the liar. Give me give me one moment here. Super appreciate it, by the way. Remove dot BG. It's like shit. <laughs> there's got to there's got to be a better one. <laughs> but buy 100 ringtones. Yeah, okay. Uh <laughs> It looks fucking terrible. That'll do, though. That'll do. <laughs> Can I flip it horizontally? Hold the freaking phone. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dude, fucking janks, bro. <laughs> Okay, uh, haven't asked Ryan, yeah, 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 can I, wait, I can't go, I can't go back in their house anymore? I don't even have the option. Huh. I can't talk to Paul again. That's odd. Yeah, they fucking- they locked the door. Uh. I don't know. Can't talk to him. James wouldn't know anything about it. He doesn't know shit about dick. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. There's got, there's got to be a, there's got to fucking be a way to talk to Ryan again. There, there has to be. I'm gonna call the chief. He's not even gonna answer. I bet. Motherfucker. I'm out here risking it all, Chief! I'm putting it all on the line out here! Can't even pick up the phone? Damn, dude. The village hall, maybe? Oops. No? Keep going the wrong way? Go back? Go right? No, he's not here. The woods? We gotta find that fucking kid in the red hoodie. Fucking Jason. Or, was, was that his name? Jason? 
Pretty sure that was his name. He's gone. He's just fucking gone. Kyle? There's, Ky there's a Kyle and a Jason? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Just doesn't get any easier. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just gotta catch someone on something, because I, I, I don't know what else to do. The pain is never ending. There's nobody in the restaurant. I think it's just Kyle, but he does look like a Jason. No, Paul said it was Jason. Paul said that the kid who stole that DVD from us was Jason. i ask you a couple more things, please. Doesn't know about Paul's stunts. Paul often throws fancy dress parties. Last party Paul threw was sometime in the summer. Thinks Ryan may have used the shop in the past. Bag is from the local shop. Suggested hypnosis is similar to persuasion. Said Atlas use persuasion techniques. Ryan wastes money on guitars. Let's Ryan play in his room. Uh, made the dolls for Ryan. Practically dyspraxic. Can't make anything. Did you ever tell, tell Paul they took the DVD, or did Paul bring that up first? I told him. I told him. Uh, used to let Blackstone play in the pub. That was the band that Emma was in. Didn't know Liam very well. Uh, used to let Blackstone play in the pub. Tell Paul you know his kinks. Kink shame Paul. I can't talk to Paul anymore. He locked the door. He fucking locked me out. All right. Open it up. Chat, what do you think I should do? Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Emma? We're gonna find out they were all in a band together? Yes, we are. Yes. 100%. Emma said she didn't know Liam. She was in a band but didn't know Liam? few more questions, if you don't mind. Used to sing in a pub band called Blackstone. Didn't know Liam very well. Aha! Ah. Thank you, chat. That I would have totally band lost that. you sang in Blackstone. Who else was in the band? Um, just a few people from college. Including Liam? Why did you say you didn't know him? No, it's it's not that. I just thought you meant that I didn't know about his suicide. Did you? No, I was <clears throat> away on a holiday. When he died? Yeah, I only knew him through the band. I don't she think you're telling the truth. She was in a band with Liam, but didn't know about his problem. I'm not sure I believe you, Emma. Not sure I believe you, Emma. Okay. Well, that didn't really do much for us, to be honest. Simon didn't know Emma went to Third Eye. Uh, Liam's death. Only knew Liam through the band Blackstone. 
No, 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 no! Joined Third Eye after leaving college. Oh, okay. Uh, doesn't know Emma went to Third Eye. Was at Third Eye when Paul pulled the stunt. Oh, that was the night he died! Why does that not count? Oh, okay, maybe it's this? Aha! Huh. So, you witnessed Paul's money-stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died? No. Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um... I, uh, I must have got mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, even though you were there on that night? No. Emma. Emma! I think you better explain, don't you? Emma, you are just full of shit! It was the stupid course, wasn't it? Go on. Well, we were all told to do stupid things, and, and then that thieving thing happened, and so... Take a breath, Emma. Liam killed himself because of me. What? Why? Um... Liam had a... a birthmark on the side of his face. And no one would mention anything, even though we all knew it was there. And we all thought... they all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something and I... I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it. Well, what did he say? <laughs> he said that what? He... <laughs> what? <laughs> then Liam killed himself. Liam's dead because of me. Oh my god, Emma. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. Yeah, I don't There's think so either. There's things than meets the eye. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> I, th I think there might be a little bit more to Simon it than that. Need to know. Don't worry. Thank you. <sighs> I th these might be like total crocodile tears. Nine o'clock. Poor Emma. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I yeah, me the too. Rounds before I blame her. Emma's guilt. Emma criticized Liam over a birthmark, which she believes contributed to his suicide. It's a whole new time of day. It's nine. It's nine o'clock. Holy shit! Let's go talk to Ryan. I don't think it's her. No. See, I've played video games before, and I feel like that is like. We're being set up right now. Maybe uh, it might not be that, but like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a setup and that Emma's like totally behind a bunch of the shit. A few more questions, if you don't mind. It's Jake's. Oh my god, we gotta ask him about a ton of this stuff. So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the course. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple, but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She, she quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first months with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. Of We're all course. shackled to our past. Particularly you, by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. 
I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Someone said, I'm more suspicious of the fucking cult leader than the woman who is a dick sometimes. Okay, but you understand this is a video game, right? You understand this was written by someone? I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. When I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> doesn't time fly? <laughs> oh, doesn't it? What was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something stone. Aren't they all called something stone? Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's not what I got. Uh-uh. Once auditioned for a band called Hammerstone. Hasn't bought a new guitar for over a year. Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? Well, what would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking You're about lying! Or to hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. You're lying! You're fucking lying to me! But tell me about this other shit first. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop, yes. We used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes. For the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new. Their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New mm. selves? Mm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act, how to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What it does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little <laughs> anyone dressed in a nurse outfit, do, Ryan? Inspector, Urgent surprised. question. <laughs> Extremely Not important. Answer me. <laughs> Was anyone wearing a nurse outfit? Course involves teaching students how to act. Coerced or bribed in any way. Okay. Okay. What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course but he went too far you believe <sighs> he usually does and do you think it did have anything to do with liam's death no 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 unfortunate no 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 his own problems but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt no 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 stunt not related to liam's suicide knows paul went too far Paul's stunt part Paul's stunt part of the shock aspect of the course. Okay. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticizing Liam before his suicide? I was there, I witnessed it. Uh well I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um <laughs> I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. Bumping themselves off, bro? Is that what you just said to me? Is that what you had just had said to me, bro? Liam seemed happy. Liam was strong and outgoing. 
These people are free to do what they like. Oh, yes, he bumped himself off. Sometimes he would come to the course and he would bump himself off there. It's quite exciting. Doesn't believe in anything supernatural now. Dabbles in playing the guitar, interested in collecting guitars. Once auditioned for a band called Hammerstone. Hasn't bought a new guitar for over a year. Used to hire from the shop. Wait a second, hold on. What do you say about the mask? Mask made by a friend who died last year. Symbol not used on the course. Used to hire from the shop. Atlas have an end of stage party. Course involves teaching students how to act. Party includes wearing costumes. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No, oh, it doesn't. Okay. Sure. Uh. Huh. We're not even- we're not even fucking worried about Kate anymore. We're- we're solving Liam's death now. Strong and outgoing, thinks people are free to do what they like. Okay. Be back later on if I'll be okay. back. What happens after an Atlas meeting? You also haven't asked Paul about Emma's guilt over Liam. Can I talk to Paul again? Oh, I can. It's weird, it, like, didn't let me in before. Okay. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. Did you encourage Emma to criticize him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticize them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticize his birthmark, if that's what it was. Oh, the, the birthmark's off limits for me, bro. Herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't encourage Emma to criticize Liam's birthmark. Didn't expect Emma to discuss Liam's birthmark. Hardly knew Emma. Uh-uh. 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 Shut the fuck up. Does he talk about Emma at some point in here? Jim's death was unavoidable. Kate's argument... Insists he didn't buy it for Kate. Bro. 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 Didn't expect Emma to discuss Liam's birthmark. Paul's theft stunt. Paul told Jenks about his money-stealing stunt. Okay. Atlas Cleaner visits at strange times. Paul's cleaner was the mugger. Made the DVD on the night of Liam's death. Committed a fake theft, which he videoed. He videoed it. Claims all the students enjoyed the stunt. Didn't steal from Liam. All the students enjoyed the stunt. Hardly knew Emma. Didn't... Hmm. I don't know. A fake theft. I'm thinking. All the students enjoyed the stunt. Didn't steal from Liam. Did Emma? Yeah, did she like that? Yeah, 
and didn't complain. Hardly knew Emma. There, there are other people we can talk to about Emma's guilt, so let's do that. James, you gotta know about this shit, right? You gotta have something for me here, bud. It's been like, like eight sequences since you've been able to give me anything. You gotta have something on this, More right? Questions, please. Thank you. Mother fucker, James. Okay, that's it for now. What do I even Thank keep you. you around here for? Fucking scrying in there. What do you what do you even know? Ask you a couple more things, please. It's unlikely Rebecca would know anything Thank about you. this. Probably be back later. Can we talk to Simon about it, maybe? I doubt it, but just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Jinx is yeah, Jinx has promised not to discuss this with Simon. All right, fair Thank enough. You. Probably be back later. Should also call the chief for an update. Okay, I can do that. Chief's not gonna tell me fucking anything, but I'll I'll call him anyway. Jenks, I presume. Yes, Chief. Bit more news. It turns out Emma was with Liam on the night he died, and she thinks she caused him to commit suicide. She made fun of him, mocked him as part of the course. Nice of her. Why did she do that? Requirement of the course, <laughs> apparently. To All right. Why did she do that? It's meant to encourage free thinking. Interesting opinion. And I suppose the Rams just think that's what, you know, par for the course or something like that, do they? Well, Paul wasn't too bothered. He claims he didn't know Emma, so couldn't have predicted what she was going to do. That doesn't wash. What does Emma say about him? She does not like him. Really doesn't like him. So she must have known him well enough. How well did he know her? He claims not very well. Well, make sure he's telling the truth. Oh, I've got a cup of coffee to make. Coffee? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> wow, thanks, Chief. What happens after an Atlas meeting? Yeah, maybe we should go... Can we go back into the, the reading room? I think we had the option. I just didn't. Nothing. Absolutely nothing happens. There's, there's nothing even in here. Okay. Let's try going in the kitchen again. The hallway. Go down the corridor. Nobody, everyone just fucking left. Okay. Nothing. What happens after an Atlas meeting? Maybe there's people doing shit in the woods? They gotta be doing spooky wood shit back here. No? Okay. The J. These two people have been sit standing here the entire game. These people in the distance have been chilling there for the last, what, like f five hours? Just hanging out. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're in the restaurant. It's possible. I keep checking it, and there's never anybody there. Nope. There's nobody here. What happens after an Atlas meeting? Uh, town... Town hall? Can you head along the path? Oh, okay. I can't move, I got fish to catch. Of course I come fast. Uh, okay. Nothing. 
Yeah, what what does happen? Talk to Ryan again. Ask about a few more things, please. Okay, there's no option. Paul's stunt part of the shock aspect of the course knows Paul went too far. Stunt not related to Liam's suicide. Doesn't blame Emma for Liam's death. Witnessed Emma's criticism of Liam. Liam was strong and outgoing. Thinks people are free to do what they like. Including bump themselves off. Uh, Simon's hasn't tried Simon's homebrew. That's why is that always funny to me? <laughs> Has never bought a freedom necklace. Has seen students wearing the necklace. Knows about the window, but not how it got broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mask made by a friend who died last year. Used to hire from the shop. That's nothing. Okay. Knows the costume shop. Atlas have an end of stage party. Course involves teaching students how to act. Party includes wearing costumes. Dude, it just... Yeah, fuck. The end of the game gets, like, hard. We, we like, are gonna get through it, though. Doesn't keep any medicines on site, doesn't allow drugs or alcohol. No student has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Ever! Claims auto-hypnosis not a major part of the course. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Auto-hypnosis techniques are being phased out. Believes auto-hypnosis doesn't really work. Doesn't believe in anything supernatural now. Used, used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. Used to have a black mirror himself. I did it! I was the killer! Pack your bags, everyone. We figured it out. Atlas name picked randomly. Uh, oh, man, dude! Shit's hard. Phrase invented while based at the village hall. Ryan has a background. Phrase about getting rid of guilt and self doubt. Ryan has a background in psychology. This dude's got a background in fucking everything. Chat, what do I do? What do you think? I'm using call a friend. Phone a friend. You missed an investigation point in Atlas? Shut That's the fuck up. The moment. Thank you. No, I f no, I fucking didn't. Shut up. That did not happen. That did not fucking happen. What the fuck? What is this? come in handy. Don't know why I never remember to buy one. What? I have a red torch. Okay. Is there like somewhere that's dark? I remember there being a spot where it's like too dark. Yeah, maybe the woods? Oh, did he say that about the back of the pub? Into the outbuilding. That was a long-ass time ago. 
Oh my god. It feels like that was days ago when he said that. It, I mean, it literally was for me. What the fuck? Well, well. And there's the mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Uh, okay. Vandalized car photos? Photos of a car vandalized with spray paint were found in the pub outbuilding. Okay. We gotta ask Rebecca about this. First of all. I love my devil car! Ding. More questions, if that's okay. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. Ryan's car. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. God, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Hmm. Did they? Did they know? Be back later on, if that's okay. Okay, uh, let's ask James. James, come on. Please, you gotta have something for me here. Anything, dude. Just, just point at the picture and say, that's a car. A few more questions, please. Know anything about these? Nope. Fuck you, James! Fuck you! I can't rely on you for anything! Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. Nothing. i ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. You know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. Okay. Weird way of saying that, like everything you ever say. Uh. Photos of Ryan's old car vandalized last year. Doesn't think anyone was prosecuted for it. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go ask Simon and Emma. I'm particularly interested in what Simon has to say as a guy with car troubles himself. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen these before? Hmm. No. Don't own the car. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Emma? Do you know anything... Had an affair with Ryan? About these? It's possible she might know. Nope. Sorry. Son of a fucking whore! Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Let's ask Ryan. So, you're so sad she doesn't know what a car is. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Why wouldn't you just ask Ryan it's his car? Because that's not how this fucking game works. You have to ask everyone about everything to get all the info. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh, yes. That's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. What? And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, 
I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she, she took a dislike to the course for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the <gasps> run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Really? Right. Thank you. Dude! New person! More things to keep track of! Let's go! <laughs> Photos of our, our of Ryan's car vandalized last year. Car was vandalized by a student called Lisa Blint. Lisa had psychological problems. Lisa asked for a refund. Doesn't know why Lisa wrote devil worshippers. Lisa lives alone at the end of the lane. Okay, that's Be nothing. Be back later on if that's okay. I'm gonna go talk to this blint. So this is what her Could house is that for. Be where Lisa lives. Run down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said. If we don't it? go to the costume shop, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. I really want to see the costume shop. We're gonna go to fucking Spirit Halloween. Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's oh, all right with you. Lisa, I've got a ton of I shit to I bust out in. on you. I've got so many Thank fucking you. things to ask you about, you have no idea. I'll just go in here, yes? I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? What? I just wanted to ask you. Did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, anything I you've got. You reacted badly to it. Of course, I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers. <laughs> Grim music. They're making demons appear. <laughs> what? They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. I'm starting to think he might have been right about yeah. her. Could you see them? She, she might be In a little kooky. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. Any mirror? They stay inside you. So... Oh, honey. How did you get rid of them? I didn't. You still see them. What the fuck? I just don't look. I put all the lights on. Why'd you put a picture sure over the right. mirror? Just get rid of the mirror. I put them on. When I need to look in the mirror. Oh my god, whatever. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without seeing the other person. <laughs> Dude, Jinx! What are you talking about? It's like me, but <laughs> older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm oh sorry. my I god. Have to go now. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, 
and she's gone. That's it. She's gone. A fragile and disturbed person, and utterly convinced that Atlas are worshiping the devil. How are Ryan and Paul going to get out of this one? Oh my God. James? I don't know why I'm even bothering to come talk to you about this. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Oh my about? god. Mad Lisa. Lives on her own. Doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? What? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. Got talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. But she was just like most people, really, blind to herself. Except she's more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. You, did you give you gave her salvia, didn't you? You you totally did. Lisa had visited the farm a few times. Says Lisa thought the devil was after her. And she visited the farm. I'm sure it was just to come hang out. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, Thank bud. You. I'll be back. Just wanted to stop by and say hello to her good friend James. More questions, please. Thank you. Do you know anything about devil worship? this worship dickhead's or? response. I beg your pardon. Devil <laughs> worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Answer the question! of Satanism on the course. You are misinformed. <laughs> We're a training company. We're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. It's a liar. Fucking liar! Third eye was Paul's idea. No interest in the occult. That doesn't work? No truth in Lisa's, Lisa's accusations. Doesn't he say at some point that he was like fucking... He doesn't know about Simon's homebrew. Britain Cage. Hank's mask is from Monarch Shop. Uh, knows the mirror is used for scrying. No interest in scrying. Gardening is not his thing. Hasn't heard of Salvia, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Student's idea. Okay. Dull burning was Ryan's idea. Not used on course anymore. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm more interested in what Ryan's gonna say about this anyway. I don't I don't know if Thank you. I don't know if we've got anything on Paul yet. Wait, this is Ball, not Ryan. They look the same to me, you see? <laughs> okay. Oh, let's- wait, I forgot. Let's talk to the other people first. Before we even bother. Hold on. That's what I was saying. I said the other day, this is like Hot Fuzz, the game. 
Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, he's been talking. Just a line of inquiry. Weird question! <laughs> Who's been talking? Never seen the Black Mirror before. James casts spells in the woods. No truth to the flyer. Okay. Never come across anyone involved in the occult. Are you sure? Is James not anyone? Thank you. Probably Fuck you. Back later. Fuck you. Let's talk to Simon. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? Nah, there's none of that. All right, awesome, Simon. Real insightful. <laughs> uh. Okay. That's all for the moment. Thank you. No, there's nothing like that. Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks is such like a fucking fruit, dude. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay. Well, we got nothing on them. Be back later on if that's okay. Uh, let's go talk to Ryan. Mmm, <laughs> that's. That's fruity. Ask about a few more things, please. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? You would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has psychological problems, diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get oh, the she's idea been that diagnosed. Were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So you are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly Liar! know anything about. Liar! I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Liar! You are lying to me! Aha. So, you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? <laughs> well, obviously, I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point Ridiculous. is, Ryan, this guy that you claim not demons. to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's oh? all. And some people oh, you do? simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, 
that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. Pulls out a gun. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test. Uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing. Any medication that they have used in the past. Any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Oh, touch wood, so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Mm. Touch wood? Uh. I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. What a weirdo. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Well, we got a new Thank thing you. to go ask everyone I'll about. Back later. Can we... She's gone, right? We can't talk to her anymore? Yeah. She she fucking left, dude. She, she skipped town. Good for her. James! A couple more questions. James, okay. you might like this. James wouldn't know about the app. Uh, that's it does. for the time being. Thank you. Okay. Well, I thought maybe you'd be interested or something. I don't know. Just a thought. Go ahead to Brandon House. A few more questions, please. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the Atlas Aptitude Test. What do you want to know? What does it test exactly? It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. Well, it wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, did we? Hmm. Test designed to reveal psychological issues. Lisa couldn't handle the course techniques. Raise the course entrance to 21. Knew Liam had personal problems. Okay, I guess that doesn't count. No truth in Lisa's accusations. No interest in the occult. 21? Very funny chat. <laughs> Very funny. How old is Kate? Does it say on here? Kate was drunk. Simon's homebrew. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's ask around some more. Back later. Yo, Rebecca, let me hit you with this. Ding. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know anything about this? Rebecca's it's weird as fuck, test, isn't it? by the way. She's like, what do you want to suspect know? as do hell. Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. Document is an aptitude test for Atlas. Atlas had some trouble with unsuitable students. Unsuitable students. Is that anything? No. 
Makes his accusations. Okay. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. She's got a demon in her. For sure. See, that's what I'm saying. She's demon up the ass. Hundred percent. Questions, if you don't mind. Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But like, they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Don't, huh? Filled in a form before joining Atlas. Form was a simple health check. Would be easy to lie on the form. Okay. Didn't know Liam, but had heard about... Okay, yeah, he wasn't in... I forgot, he wasn't in uh, Third Eye. He was only in Atlas. Be back okay. later on, if that's okay. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. Filled in a similar form when joining Atlas. Test asked about general fitness. Fitness dick in your mouth! It's Kate very often. Only went once to Atlas. Went to an Atlas seminar with Simon. I've been to a similar course before. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. There must be a contradiction somewhere. Shit. Well, I don't fucking know what it is. I feel like it's got to be something with Simon, right? A few more questions. He's the one who told mind. us the most like details about the aptitude test. Or or no, was it maybe, maybe it was Paul? When it's green, does that mean you've exhausted all the contradiction options? No. Uh I thought that last stream, but I've realized now that it being green just means it's uh, an item. It's, a, it's an item you can bring up in conversation, and then if it's a red one, uh, it's an item you use, like, in the world somewhere. So, like, the lo the remote control ro lock, the red torch, the silver key, the screwdriver, those are all items that you used somewhere. Yeah, I thought, last time I thought that it was different, but I was wrong. No devil worship at Atlas. Okay. Know anything about the license? Bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Bike is the only way Simon can get to work. Doesn't see James very often. Thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at college. Doesn't recognize this particular mask. Masks are used during Atlas seminars. Paul, Ryan and Paul run the Atlas course. Okay, of course, yeah. Simon gave Jenks the poster. Uh, James thinks the government is tracking him. Hasn't seen the leaves before. Has tried salvia a few times. Never tried any other hallucinogenic drugs. Knows Liam. Didn't know Liam, but had heard about him. Knows James made the flyer, doesn't know anything about Third Eye. Finger symbol refers to the three freedoms. Think Students in Woods was Atlas student Kyle. Believes guilt doesn't serve any useful purpose. Okay. Doll burning about getting rid of what you don't need. Course involves auto hypnosis or self hypnosis. 
He doesn't say anything about the mirrors. Can't be hypnotized unless you want to be. Once brought a guitar to an Atlas session. Hasn't heard about Paul's stunt. Was told at Atlas to do something risky. Not allowed to hurt or offend others. Ha! Huh. Thank you. Okay. Probably be back later. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Paul. Dude, fucking James has been sitting around staring at the fire this whole time. He's fucking. A we're out here. If that's okay. Going from house to house 20 times in a row. He's sitting there fucking scrying. Test designed to reveal psychological issues. Lisa couldn't handle the course techniques. Raised the course entrance age to 21. Those psychological issues. Have you called the boss recently? No, I haven't. He's not gonna fucking help. He never helps. Didn't steal from Liam that night. We did a fake theft. I don't know. Not possible to force students to be hypnotized. Jinx, you must remember the basics of CQC. Doll burning was Ryan's idea. Reluctantly abides by the law. Alright, hit me chat. I'm stuck. This is gonna happen at least three more times before the stream is over. That's fruity. Not gonna lie, I'm also totally stumped. I got nothing. Oh, man. Didn't Emma get a necklace and then this guy never played, but Rebecca saw some confused over <laughs> Awesome. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Have you tried killing someone just to spice things up? Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the necklace? Didn't Ryan say Kate had psychological issues? Uh, okay, I'll try that. That sounds worth trying. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Shit, wait, I can't get him on that one. Incident prompted them to introduce an aptitude test. Oh, wait, no. Hadn't suspected she had any emotional problems. Shit! Gotta get Paul to admit he was the one who gifted the necklace to Emma? That's all for the moment, thank you. Ask you a couple more things, please. Uh, 
Ne necklace looks familiar, but can't say for certain. Insists he didn't buy it for Kate. Bought a freedom necklace for a student. Maybe walk around and try to find Lisa? You, you think she's in the woods? <laughs> I mean, everyone's in the woods all the time for some fucking reason. Uh, uh. Emma said her test was general fitness instead of emotional problems, which is interesting. Yeah, it's true. James was in the woods. James is like a... It's like a freak, though. <laughs> Paul says he doesn't know Emma very well. Hardly knew Emma. Yeah, but there's no... He doesn't say the opposite somewhere else. Oh! Okay, that works. I wouldn't have... Okay. You say you didn't know Emma, uh... Yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her, and quite well too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking. And I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. Ah! It was a stupid mistake. Ah! That's all it was. So you're saying... <laughs> no, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. Ah! I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents, unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Hey, you said it, Emma not me. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So, nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. Alright. Oh! Father, like a son. No surprise What a there. weirdo! I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. Ah! Tried it on with? Where does... where did... Where did all that go? Once tried to date Emma. <laughs> Woof. Mm. What? So what? What did we get out of that? Once tried to date Emma. There's like so much shit in this list now. It's like so easy to lose track of it. Disgusting! Ask Emma about it? See, there's not a new thing here though. If there was a thing I could ask someone else about, it would be like a new like item in the list. Or a new like concept like this. Like Lisa's accusation. I don't think I could ask Emma about it. Tried to date Emma. Okay. Uh, Be back later on if that's okay. May yeah, maybe we call the chief. I don't. Uh. <laughs> you should. Okay. Yeah, you should call the chief for an update. <laughs> Got it. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Chief, you're not going to believe this fucking there shit. There students sitting around a fire taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. You're hoping I'm going to say tell me more, aren't you? I'm changing my mind. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis. Hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, 
Not in theory. Well, two people died. No spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it Is it dangerous? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. Oh, very funny, very funny. Bye-bye. They're dead, Chief. They're dead! Oh, man. Oh, man. There must be a contradiction somewhere! Talk to Emma? Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Paul's theft stunt? Uh, freedom necklace. Necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace was an unwanted gift. Yeah. Okay, well, we get that now. Did we check the woods lately? No, we have not checked the woods. I'll Thank go you. check the woods. Probably be back later. You want me to check the woods so bad? Let's go check it. Check in the woods. <laughs> Those people still out there? Yep, there they are, right there. <laughs> still chilling. There's nobody in the woods. No, no woods activity whatsoever. Let's check the kitchen. Nothing. Look at this fucking kitchen, dude. This looks like it should be in a fucking A24 movie. It's creepy as hell in here. This is just what fucking... This is just what this country looks like, though. People just live like this here. My god. Ask about a few more things, please. Okay, so... Sissy didn't buy it for Kate. Bought a freedom necklace for a student. Yeah, he sure did. Uh... <laughs> the course is demonic in nature. Once tried to date Emma. There's gotta be something about that. Names the student all enjoying the stunt. Didn't steal from Liam. Students encouraged to free themselves from guilt. Reluctantly abides by the law, dude. Ugh, what a creep. Mm. Okay. No interest in scrying. Uh, Kate's argument. Didn't hear about the argument. Wasn't in the pub. Ryan uses the shop. Sis, he didn't buy it for Kate. He didn't. Necklace looks familiar, but can't say for certain. Doesn't know about Simon's homebrew. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to do here. Hit me, chat. There's simply, there must be a contradiction somewhere, is the thing. Paul admitted to trying to date Emma. Yes. 
Paul said he doesn't like to get close to the students? What? I didn't see that anywhere. We just looked at everything. A couple more questions, if that's okay. What? Where does he say that? Paul doesn't think self-hypnosis self can hurt someone, but Lisa couldn't handle it. Oh, uh -huh. shit! So nobody has ever been affected by auto-hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Nonsense. Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With whom? Uh, you mean with uh, whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody. Including me, as I remember. Uh, really? Uh, and, uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students, Inspector. Company policy. It's not professional. Interesting admission that Kate flirted with. L literally, no what? Way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Huh? I already forgot where he said that. Where did where did all that go? Oh, Void's relationship with students. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, like, forget where this shit is, like, categorized, because there's so much of it. Where the fuck? Once tried to date Emma. Uh -huh. You idiot! So you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector, that was a long time ago. And what about Kate Vine? Did you try to date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever Bro, girl. Bro, dude, dudes she will do something exactly last year and then be like, she oh, that was a long time ago. I'm a different person now. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. 10 p.m. 10 o'clock, it's getting late. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace if I'm gonna solve this by midnight. It's motherfucking 10 p.m., bitch. Wonder who's in the pub. Yeah. I really don't think it's my place, darling. It is your place here. Yeah. I just don't want to tell tales. Tell him about Simon. You know what happens when you don't do as I say. <laughs> what uh, the fuck? So it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? You should pay your cards, right? Oh my god! Problems? Hello, Inspector. <laughs> See you later. What? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> ah! Ah! Thank you. We'll probably be back later. Is this allowed? Uh oh. Well, isn't that interesting? Looks like someone's using drugs. Hmm, that's weird. Rebecca's prescriptions. Made out to Rebecca. We're found in the cupboard of the of the fucking pub. Okay. Let's go ask Ryan about that. 
I'm very curious what he has to say about this. Answer the door. It's gonna I'm say so you better fucking reason. be here. What's this? Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> oh. Oh, but I... But I saw... But I saw it! But I saw him! <laughs> I know I saw him! <laughs> Bro, what? The fuck? Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I know I saw it! Fine, I'll ask Rebecca. A few more questions, if you don't mind. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh, they're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many. He's a friend of the family. What? Cupboard contains Rebecca's prescription painkillers. Chemist gives them too many. Chemist is a friend of the family. Okay. It's interesting. Uh, used to grow salvia years ago. Doesn't take any drugs or medicines. What do you need that for then? Uh -huh. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me. They're Ryan's. Um. Some what? The chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you to be honest. Ryan will know. Oh, oh, so will he? Ryan's will he know? The one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him. Work out exactly what this medicine is. You got arthritis, motherfucker? You holding out on me? A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. You arthritic bitch! Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector, and sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating, it's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem, uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. This- this dude is like... This dude is like that character from Trailer Park Boys. Who like, always has the full... Drink in his hand. <laughs> like, no matter what the conditions, he's always got the drink in his hand. Uh, so you keep them here at work and at home, do you know? It's really, uh, it's really interesting, cause you said... You don't keep any medicines on site, motherfucker! Aha. Uh -huh. So, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas? No. Except your prescription painkillers? Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site? Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access to them. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> they're painkillers. Yeah, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol? Codeine, morphine, 
Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Just take it fucking oh, morphine? Really? Oh, come on, Inspector. For arthritis? I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. How'd now you get a I prescription for fucking morphine? It. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. They don't just give that out to anyone. <laughs> Takes morphine. What? <laughs> Bro, yeah, who is this chemist? Has no interest in drugs. Takes morphine. Sounds pretty contradictory to me, but I guess he would just say the same thing. Keeps the morphine in a secure storeroom in Atlas. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so funny. He takes morphine. Yeah, he sounds like a real friend of the family. Oh, excuse me, for sure. Rebecca keeps the cupboard locked. Belong to Rebecca. Uh... So did they just, like, have everyone drink fucking morphine? They just, like... Giving everyone, like, drinks with fucking morphine in it? That's gotta be it. Of course this guy collects guitars. <laughs> okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. I don't know what else to get this guy on right now, so... Time to visit the lodge again. The lodge. What's the lodge? Oh, the Eden Lodge? What the f- Simon, you just dropped like a bunch of shit. Like three things just fell out of your wallet, dude. Are you serious? He's on morphine. Bit careless, Simon. He's, he's morphed up right now. Important, but at this stage, I need all the clues This guy's a fucking get. mighty morphin Power Ranger over here. <laughs> what the fuck? Dropped key ring. What is this? St. Bernard de Menthon? Oh yeah, this doesn't look weird. This doesn't look weird at all. And a business card. Aztec? Oh, dude, what the fuck is happening? What is going on here? A couple more questions, if that's okay. Holy shit. Did you know about Ryan Rand's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Hadn't known about Ryan's arthritis. You had an affair with him. You didn't know he was fucking popping morphine all the time? Okay. Whatever. I'll, I'll believe that, I guess. Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. Okay. What do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. Keyring belongs to Simon. Bought the keyring for Simon while on holiday. Okay.
hadn't known about Ryan's arthritis. Okay. Sure. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Why the fuck did you give it back? <laughs> I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just a, a pen for something. It's okay. I can remember it. So not an offshore savings account or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's uh, it, it's not important. Uh, oh, oh, it's not important, huh? Okay, what about this, motherfucker? This is yours. Yeah. That's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. He gives it back! Owns a new car?! Motherfucker! Why do you ride a bike? Idiot! Uh -huh. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? Well, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. An atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. Doesn't sound like they're taking their security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. I Must have been a very nice laptop. Simon Stolen Laptop! Or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. <laughs> Used Simon's laptop for her college work, bought a new laptop for them both. Okay. Nothing weird there. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's go talk to Ryan. Let's go talk to Ryan. What do you know about this shit? A few more questions, please. Thank you. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. He was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen Bro, are store, you listening to yourself? Secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. Are you fucking serious right now, dude? Storeroom isn't particularly fucking secure? You idiot! Aha. Uh -huh. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. There's room. a different I one. I have two storerooms. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. Nobody! Look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. It's a fucking combination lock. The Are you fucking room, I serious? Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. My other storeroom is from Canada. You wouldn't know it. <laughs> that is so funny. Wait, what? We're in, baby. Welcome to the mirror room. What? 
What the this fuck? This exercise is all identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. <laughs> as we move through the network of mirrors, what the fuck is happening? As a stranger, the more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Holy Done shit! With us, I am free from my image. I am free from my past. Dude, they give you morphine and then they lock you in the fucking myself. mirror dimension. <laughs> Oh my god, no wonder everyone goes fucking crazy my here. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I would start fucking eating the glass in this room. I am free from myself. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module two covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. Holy shit. The mirror room. Combination locked room at Atlas contains a disorienting maze of mirrors. Can I put the mask on? Oh, damn. Okay. Well, we have a new room now. James definitely has to know about this shit, for sure. Let's- let's ask Ryan first, though. Ask you a couple more things, please. Hey, yeah, what's up with the mirror room? Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hm. Yeah, I found well, it. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? This dude is so fucking crossfaded right now. Yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as as others do, and you don't see yourself as as you do anymore. It, it really the idea is that you can see yourself eventually, any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted. That's all. How oh my used? god. Not often, a few times a month. Some Weird as useful. fuck. Some don't. Yeah, we keep it locked so that you don't get distracted. Mirror room is used by students. Room locked so students aren't distracted. Mirror room used a few times a month. Oh my god. Atlas do use some disturbing techniques. Lisa was a fantasist with psychological problems. Yeah, fuck, I can't even imagine. They put her in the fuck. They locked her in the mirror room. No wonder she's all fucked up. Thank you. Holy I'll shit. Be back later. Anyone would be. Oh my god. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Recognize this at all? Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Does he live locally? I think so. You don't think so? IT consultant that repaired his laptop doesn't think the consultant lives locally. Okay. Seen this before. Don't think so. Thanks, James. It's unlikely James would know about the Atlas locked mirror room. Yeah, I ah, guess it is. The moment. Thank you. Yeah, James, you were you were so close to being useful for a second there. You were so close. Ask about a few more things, please. Ryan's arthritis. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year, 
Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from that's like arthritis. I that's like that's an injury. Pulling your oh, bed. That's he an injury. Medication because his GP, who is almost oh, he hurt his little back. Disease, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Pulled his little baby back. Doesn't believe Ryan has arthritis. Ryan has a low pain threshold. Ryan pulled his back last year. GP keeps prescribing medication. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have um, some prisoner of sort. Some Does what? R.I.T. Large guy. No manners. Have their own IT guy? What? <laughs> okay. Seen this before anywhere? No. <laughs> Epic. Simon's stolen laptop. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Oh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Con man. Not happy about the theft. Has since installed a CCTV system. No thefts have happened since. Not happy about the theft, huh? Okay. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock? How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? I'm not in theory. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps too, it's part of the program. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? Nobody allowed to know the combination code. But... But, bro! But, dude! Dean Hayfield. That's the IT guy. But, bro! Uh... What does he just- what did he say about this? Paul's cleaner was the mugger. Atlas Cleaner visits at strange times, made the DVD on the night of Liam's death, committed a fake theft, which he videoed. Claims all the students enjoyed it. Okay, sh let's try that. Fake theft. Uh, not happy about the theft. Okay, that's nothing. Be back later on, if that's okay. Oh, we're gonna ask Simon, don't you worry. But first, we're gonna we're gonna ask Rebecca, that fucking weirdo. Sh shady Rebecca. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen this before? No. Just being in the room with her, it feels darker, from all the shade. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Awesome. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. Doesn't know anything about the mirror room. Epic. Thank you. Probably be back later. Epic. Let's go, Simon. Let's fucking go. A few more questions, please. So you're you're not gonna fucking believe this, bro. That that card with the code on it. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. What's it used for? 
Well, it's mainly for the auto-hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then, when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. But you don't know the combination? No. But... But... But you do, though! Uh -huh. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? No. Except... You'd written it down, hadn't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. Bro, you it's fucked up pin. bad. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? Jerking it's off. Just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just but wanted I was to coming, go in there when having I was big come. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? Uh, no. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did he keeps Kate the morphine the in the mirror room, dude. Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We, we both tried to morphine. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see... If you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. Oh, shit! It's 11 p.m. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Chad, I have to use the bathroom Just so bad left right now. To solve this thing. I have I have to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Now that I did some morphine in the mirror room, I'm ready to finish this game. <laughs> I haven't searched the woods for a while. It's fucking dark out. It's dark as shit out. I'm like scared of what is going to be in the woods. These people are still here. They're still over there. I'm gonna get attacked by a fucking werewolf. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. What the keep fuck? Keep pushing. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. What the fuck? Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. 
Who voices. the fuck are test these guys? Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A what does it look like? Test. Just a standard I thought, test. Uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out, Inspector Jenks. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. You disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you. It's okay, Tom. Oh my Mr. God. Mr. won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rush commitments. Dude, what the fuck? You dropped your entire keys. Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. <laughs> what the fuck? So that's threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly. The car this, key fob. I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob. The first. car key fob, baby. What the fuck, dude? Hell yeah, I'm gonna steal this motherfucker's car! <laughs> Jenks is getting out of here. In style. <laughs> Bingo. Whoa! Oh, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. Pretty juicy check there, written out to Kate. Oh my god. Have you ever closed a car door before? Why did you do that so weirdly? Five... Five hundred... Pounds, I guess? Okay. I ask you a couple more things, please. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? Five hundred pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. It right. fell out of your car. So why were you going to give Kate five hundred pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive. That's all. Just a little incentive. Not very little, Ryan. Five hundred oh, pounds. Oh, so you mean you coerced a student? A very good student. We we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? Well, it's not written out to me. That's not really how checks work, dude. Money meant as a little incentive. A little incentive. Oh, I didn't even ask him about this other shit. I will after this. Uh... Where the fuck did he say that shit? Auto-hypnosis... Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way! Boom! Huh. So, students aren't coerced or bribed in any way, except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. It was an incentive. That's all, a little encouragement. So, how <laughs> often do you use incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. 
assessment. We have to assess students as they progress. We, d we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. Yes, People you do! People pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment? Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involved threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? <laughs> Dude! Students pay for the course per session. Gave Kate the money to test slash assess her. Bro. Damn, this is cult shit 101, dude! Uh... Okay. Where's the aptitude test? No? Okay. Bro. You fucked up. You fucked up. Bad. Students pay for the course per session. What? Had heard Kate wanted to leave Atlas. No ulterior reason for giving Kate the money. Kate was drunk at the meeting. First kept met Kate three months ago. I can't even talk anymore. This game's fucking me up. Said Kate enjoyed the course and appeared happy. Hadn't suspected she had any emotional problems. Okay. It hurt Kate wanted to leave Alice. Said Kate enjoyed the course and appeared happy. That's not contradictory? Fine. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. I'll speak to someone else about this. Ryan. Wonder what James is up to. <laughs> Jake's just like misses talking to James. I wonder what James is up to. He like wants to hang out. What the fuck? Bro, he just gave him some salvia. <laughs> You've been salviaed! A few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, I can't ask him about what just happened? Bro! Thank you. Probably be back later. What did you just do? Maybe I go check the greenhouse. Big money, Salvia, Salvia. Oh, big money, money, money. Big money, Salvia, Salvia. Okay, nothing in here. Big money, money, money. Some new stuff. What the fuck? So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. What is that? What is a poppy pod? What the fuck? That's opium? Opium slash morphine? He's making morphine?! Oh. My. God. James. I thought you had my back on this. I really thought. I really thought you were on my side, brother. questions, if you don't mind. I really thought. 
What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration? Why? Decoration! Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them. To grannies. Okay, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honour. And who was the guy delivering? Bro. A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look? No particular reason? I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. Let's hope not. <laughs> oh my god. Poppy pods used for decoration. Selling the pods to pensioners. Never extracted opium from the pods. Pods are from a friend who didn't want them. Okay. Selling the pods to pensioners. I mean, I've never seen that guy. He, he was a bald guy that gave it to him. We don't know any bald guys here. All right, James. Uh, for the moment. Thank okay. you. Who? Yeah, who is decorating their house with poppy pods? Tell me, James. A couple more questions. There's like That's eight okay. people who live here. And you're telling me some of them are, are old people who want to buy poppy pods from you? Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for 500 pounds? I really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. It's fucking slimo. What do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pods? Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. No. No, no, no. Be back later on, if that's okay. She's, yeah, she's not blonde, but maybe she was. Maybe she was, chat. You ever think about that? Is anyone in the restaurant? No. There's all the- there's this fucking- There's this, like, walla sound of, like, people talking in the restaurant, but there's nobody in here. That's like ambience that she's got playing on like a fucking CD or something. There's nobody in here. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Big money, Salvia. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? <sighs> Not that I remember. Hasn't seen anyone selling or buying pods. Doesn't know much about poppy pods. Used to grow salvia. Doesn't take any drugs. Okay. You used to grow salvia? But you don't know any- you don't even know what those are? Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna get you, Rebecca. I'm gonna fucking get you. She's so weird. She's Ask weird as fuck. Things, please. Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea once, I think. 
Where did he get it from? I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so... Is allergic to opiates. Pro. Aha. Uh -huh. Dude, my guy. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Uh, Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. <laughs> well, no, I guess I, I guess I lied about that. We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. Huh? Ryan wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be prime candidate. Prime candidate? candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim. Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she Bro, was Bro, do you know student. what consensual, well, maybe, I, like, I don't means? Know. I just did what I was told, You know I what that told, word means, okay? bro? Except you decided to give her morphine to break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all <laughs> neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Bro! Thank you. Probably be back later. Thank you! <laughs> hey, thank you for that information. I'll be back later. <laughs> Strange question. <laughs> Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's okay. <laughs> why, did he, why did he reassure? It's okay. <laughs> Are you fucking high right now, Jenks? It's okay. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals and you can't have both at Atlas. Okay. Believes morals are incompatible with Atlas. <laughs> Didn't think Simon was prime candidate. <laughs> Knows about prime candidates. I'm gonna get such a good grade at cult. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. She said some shit about Simon earlier, didn't she? Simon's home, bro. Only drinks wine, hates spirits. Okay, yeah, we know that's fine. Dude, what is in the home, bro? Yeah, Simon did say that, but... This is the mirror. It doesn't work. Third eye. Doubt Simon agrees with it fully. Okay, so that does line up. Never mind. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. 
Thank you. Probably checks back out to later. me. Simon's like a complete fucking idiot, but I don't I don't know that he like did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a fucking moron, but like that's it. There are things you haven't asked Simon, Emma, Rebecca, and wait, what? What did I not ask Simon about? Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Alice Beer Room, the check. Oh, I never asked him about the arthritis! Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. No, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Okay. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I don't think I asked Emma about it either. Oh, wow. It was the mirror room I didn't ask her about. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Mirror room. Um, no, I, I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students later on the course. Something like that. Tink's mirror room used later in the course. Didn't think Simon was prime candidate. Okay. Be back later on if that's okay. He's stupid but not malicious. Yeah, I guess. I guess I would say that. Rebecca, Ryan, and Paul. Uh, what did we not ask Rebecca about? Ding. Ask about a few more things, please. Oh. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Um, it's the best student. And what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's what? the idea anyway. But? Mostly At they are not. Where? Good. And what happens then? They get sacked. Prime candidates are the best students. Prime candidates get a guaranteed job with good salary. Most students aren't up to the job. Failed prime candidates get sacked. They, they get sacked. <laughs> really? <laughs> and what, yeah, what job, what? Know anything about the mirror room? Third Eye Flyer. Uh, Atlas Advertising Poster. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's go talk to Paul. Couple more questions, if that's okay. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special Success. relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students. And they get an instant job. You have what? Do you get out of it? Oh. It's a little kickback. It's just business, Inspector. <laughs> what? Prime candidates are the best students. Prime candidates given a well-paid job. Atlas receives kickback payment. What? The fuck? I get yeah, I guess James was right. Jesus Christ. Uh that's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay. And what about Ryan? Before I even go in to talk to Ryan, I'm gonna go in the corridor, check the kitchen, one more time. St 
still fucked up creepy A24 kitchen. Okay. I'm gonna check the reading room. Cap snag some morphine. Or oh wait, shit, I should go upstairs. Check the mirror room. One more time. Beep, 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 beep. I want some morphine. <laughs> Nothing. Dude, the mirror room is so fucked up. They painted it like a fucking, like a fun house. It's horrifying in there. I can't imagine doing drugs in that room. Sounds awful. Okay. Nothing. A few more questions, please. Poppy pods? Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector, but I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Has never seen anyone selling or buying pods. Knows opium can be extracted from poppy pods. Now. Tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> prime candidates are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. Now, Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide. Bro. You are not gonna frame my boy, Simon. <laughs> he might be a fucking idiot. But you're not going to do this to him. Best students become prime candidates. Prime candidates get a very good job. Students aren't tested. Never asked Simon to test Kate. Simon had been trying to undermine Kate. Hmm. Students aren't tested. Uh... Room locked so students aren't distracted. That I mean that counts, right? No. Okay. Students aren't. Te that's gotta be the thing, right? I get. Okay. I guess that's not what that means. Disturbing techniques. Private psychological treatment. Dude, what is Ryan's guitar? Where does the band fit into all this? <laughs> I need to know where the band fits into this whole narrative. Students carry the dolls with them for a month. That and that doesn't count as a test? Oh, I'm, okay. Background in psychology. You're gonna get the band back together. <laughs> Had to pay Liam's parents a settlement fee. James never came to third eye meaning. Never used ECT machines at Atlas or third eye. What the f what even is an ECT machine? Didn't keep any medicines on site. Man. 
Schmidt K said Kate enjoyed the course, hadn't suspected any emotional problems, never seen the license before. <laughs> this is Brockhampton's fault. Simon's homebrew. Hasn't tried Simon's homebrew. Seen students wearing the necklace. Pub window. Symbol not used on the course. Did we learn what was the check for? Uh, he described it as a little incentive for Kate. No ulterior reason for giving Kate. Hey, wait a minute. Does that not line up? Simon had been trying to undermine Kate. Never asked Simon to test Kate. Dude, Ryan's arthritis. Okay. Thinks people are free to do what they like. There's like, there's so much information here now. Now that we're at like the end of the game, there's so much. Course involves teaching students how to act. Students pay for the course per session. Hey, wait a second! Gave Kate the money to test slash assess her. You motherfucker. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes. Why yes. is she being tested? She was being tested because... Because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, okay? So Kate Dude, was you, oh in the God, running to be prime candidate. Spilled. Yes. And Dude, did ignore the spill. Did you ask Simon to test her? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh but God. I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How Bro, far floor. did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference. <laughs> God. If Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. A completely so different substances. Wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. We had nothing to do with it. Oh, oh, oh dude. Midnight. And still no suspect, unless you count everyone I've interviewed. It's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible oh, for Kate's death. Oh, dude! But I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. What the fuck? You're going to jail! <laughs> Let's talk to James. Yeah, he, he kept peeking the mic. He was yelling so loud. It was awesome. Ask you a couple more things, <laughs> That was so funny how much of the drink he spit, like the whole thing came out of the glass. <laughs> the whole fucking thing. Okay, nothing from James. James is useless. That was awesome. <laughs> Ignore the spill. Oh my god. Thank god everyone's still awake at fucking midnight. Was Kate a prime candidate? Well, as Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. And nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's much better to let them just work it out among themselves. It isn't very professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No, we don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. You don't use threshold testing, for instance? No, 
If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. They... Oh. Kate was being tested for prime candidate. Leaders don't get involved in testing students. Don't use threshold testing. Students not encouraged to hurt each other. Oh, man. Where do we even fucking start with this? Uh, let's try to date Emma. Didn't encourage Emma to criticize Liam's birthmark. Uh, didn't see Liam after the course. Liam been drinking all night. Yeah, fuck. I don't even... There's so much here. Kate was being tested for prime candidate. But... Possibly spoke to her. Only saw Kate a few times. That does... What? Possibly spoke to her. How about that? No? Leaders don't get involved in testing students. <laughs> Knows Ryan was interested in blondes. <laughs> awesome. Nobody allowed to know the combination code. Uh, they have their own IT guy. Real psychological issues. It's guilt. Didn't steal from Liam, claims all students enjoyed the stunt, committed a fake theft. Kate Vine flirted with Paul, didn't try to date Kate, suspected Kate of trying to play him? <laughs> you know who else was interested in blondes? Patrick Bateman. Book him, Jenks! <laughs> Book this motherfucker. Okay, uh, not used on the course. All right, uh, that's all for the I, I don't Thank know you. what the fucking, there's gotta be something to say to him, but I don't know what it is yet, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna move on. Paul thinks about prime candidates? We just asked him about that. We just, didn't we just ask him about that? A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. We did. Be back later on if that's. Fuck okay. are you talking about? That's got to That's probably like the thing we're supposed to figure out. Uh, let's go talk to Rebecca. Ding. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Did you know Kate Vine was a prime candidate? No. Uh, didn't know Kate very well. Gave Rebecca twenty dollars, twenty pounds for a breakage. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. No. Simon. Simon. A few more questions. My dude. Please. Thank you. How do you think you'd have reacted? If you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate. Is that... was she? I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? 
Well, it's just an impression I got. You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. She's just not really prime candidate material. Didn't think Kate could be prime candidate. Okay. Yeah, that fits, I guess. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'm not bothered. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not mad. Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen just because she was, you know, Kate. What? You didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about this. What do you mean, just because she was Kate? Thinks Kate would be chosen. Kate didn't discuss the Atlas course. What? Argumentative at college? Okay. Uh Didn't think that Simon would be a prime candidate, but thought that Kate would be? Oh, I know why she's saying that. I see. Thank you. Probably be back later. I just got it. Uh, let's Oh, we're out of people to talk to, aren't we? I, I guess let's call the chief. Hello, Jenks. Yes, I'm still up. Thanks for asking. Chief Ryan admitted that he asked Simon to test oh, to see you. if he was good enough to be prime candidate. But he's throwing it all back on Simon. Says it was up to Simon about how he went about testing her. Very convenient. What does Paul say? He pretty much backs Ryan up. He claims they don't do any threshold testing. <laughs> well, that's a load of horse droppings. <laughs> to him, Jenks, which means you're getting some Clo like close one, Chief. Good save. Until midnight, but well done, nonetheless. Listen, call me back. I'm watching that old movie, but Christopher Lee's only just turned up, so I'll be here for another hour or so, yeah? Okay, Chief. I'll call again. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Chief. Wonder what Paul thinks about prime candidates. Okay, well, if that's what the game is directing me towards. Ask you a couple more things, please. Prime candidates are the best students. Prime candidates given a well-paid job. Kate was being tested per... For a prime candidate. Leaders don't get involved in testing students. Don't use threshold testing. Students encouraged to... Not encouraged to hurt each other. Kate was drunk, dude. Why the... F like, what... The fuck are you talking about? Shout out Christopher Lee. He's fucking drunk all the time. I'm starting to think she wasn't actually drunk. I'm starting to think that she was just on fucking opiates all the time. Uh. Knew Liam had personal problems. Didn't see Liam after the course. What if she was drinking Simon's homebrew? Maybe. I don't know. Third eye, Paul's idea. Ideas over morality. Reluctantly abides by the law.
I don't know. Chat, what do you think? My my brain is fucking fried from all this investigating. What do you think? If Simon didn't know Kate was going to be prime candidate, why was he testing her? I think we should get a train out of this psycho town. Liam was drinking at the seminar. Does Paul say anything about drugs being banned? CD playing and threshold testing? That's it, really? I wouldn't have I wouldn't have got that. You say you don't endorse threshold testing, that's the phrase, isn't it? Yes. Except you do, Paul, because you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror room. I've listened to that CD and it very clearly mentions threshold testing. Oh, you keep batting this away, it, Paul. Okay. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested, but I am this close to launching a full-scale investigation. Look, we get a kickback from these students and they have to be exceptional. Of course we have to test them. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that depends on how far you push them, doesn't it? Well, we certainly don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that much pressure? She was a very, very valuable student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really? Paul's how much cracking! Would that be? Well, if you really want He's to cracking. Know 50 grand. She was worth 50 grand? Yes. What, you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We make perfect employees. Oh. Month after month. That's all we do. What do you mean, perfect employees? Oh, dude! Needs, James was right! Than anything else is none of this altruistic, goody-goody crap. What we look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right? We don't deal with all this comfort stuff. The survival of the fittest. That's all there is. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Except what you have and you can enjoy in the here and now. Holy and shit. What do you enjoy now, Paul? You're going to have to excuse me. Inspector, I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do. At midnight? At midnight. I'll see myself out. I'm surprised you didn't eat dinner and go to bed five hours ago. Lovely man, your father. Oh my god, this Shut the snake. Shut on your way out. Doing his level best to shut this place down. Get rid of him. He's Get a policeman. Rid of we him. can't just. You sort this, Ryan. Holy and shit! Man up and you sort it tonight, <laughs> bro. <laughs> They're gonna try to fucking kill Jinx. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Kyle. Dude, Jinx is too slick for this. I'm fucking, I'm Bobby with that tool. That doesn't sound good. Two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. <laughs> I don't have any backup and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially quite bad. Yeah, dude. What's Kyle got to do with it? I think I might make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. Time for a final trip to the woods? I don't want to fucking go there now! Huh? I just 
and just Damn. skip the woods. I suppose it was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place open. <laughs> I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the woods. Dude, we're gonna get fucking capped. We're gonna get fucking shot and dumped in the lake. You understand me? This is it. This is it, Jinx. What the fuck? What the fuck? Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, Kyle. And then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. What is this? Ginger Jinx runs in. Not hell. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Inspector. What are you doing here? Inspecting. So, uh, come on. Jake, save her! Let's have it. I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best thing that you can do is turn around, <laughs> go away, and leave us to it. Knife. What? That knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, investigate, and interfere. <laughs> this this is... is all part of the Atlas course. It's a physical endurance exercise. Drop that. The knife, Kyle! <laughs> Kyle. Drop it! Drop it. Oh, I've got the knife now, motherfucker. Not looking 100% brilliant for you, Ryan. Well, please, Inspector, you've poked your nose into Atlas's affairs enough times to know that imaginative flair is part of the course of success. I cannot believe what just happened. Our lessons are reinforced by a unique emotional experience. Terror? It's an extremely evocative tool. Well, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. <laughs> now look, Inspector, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're thinking. But believe me, Atlas had nothing to do with the deaths of those people. Eyewitness account of a satanic sacrifice in the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial evidence, Ryan. Simon. Now, I saw Simon walking home with Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. <laughs> well, a knob of butter has more chance of becoming prime minister. Oh, wait. So are you telling me that... Simon killed her? Well, it seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? Any more likely than you, Ryan. What the f <laughs> I know. Police brutality. What is happening? What is, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> This is nuts! And that's the thanks you get. If that wasn't an occult ceremony, I don't know what is. This is crazy! Long. But what's Simon going to say about Ryan's accusation? <laughs> oh my god! What's happening on the jetty? <laughs> Yo, those people are still there! <laughs> Dude! Jakes, find like a gun <laughs> or something. <laughs> I cannot believe this. You don't mind. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. But who said that? Just a question. I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan! Simon, calm down. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving licence, give it to me. Why? Kate's driving licence, please. See that pattern on the tape there? Let me show you something.
See this pattern? What the fuck? Now look at that. It's the same pattern. This has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person that's taped like that. Ryan. He gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on it? I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Ryan was testing her. He was doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all what? went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course, right? You give something that's important to you to someone else, then they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Kate finds out, she goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. I'm afraid I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. It makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. <laughs> the tape? But I didn't kill her. Do a lab test on the card. His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be. I didn't kill her. I'm sorry, just... Dude, Emma just, in the next room listening to all this? I need some painkillers. You need some what?! Dude, he bailed! He fucking left! Dude, everyone in this fucking place is nuts. Why everyone in such a hurry. Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? Everyone in this fucking town is crazy. Death of Jetty? Eh, they're still chilling. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. Did he go back to Atlas? Still, it's still locked. Yeah, I, I, okay, I can't go back to Atlas. What the fuck? Where'd he go? To the village hall? No? Okay. He's, he's just gone, I guess. Hey, hey, Emma, you're... <laughs> you're fucking... Your dude just left. Ask about a few more things, please. Did Simon mention walking home with anyone after the meeting last Friday? No, he just came home. Why? He didn't mention walking home with Kate. No, definitely not. Simon didn't walk home with Kate last Friday. Okay. Simon's homebrew. Okay. Have you seen this anywhere before? Uh, I've seen it somewhere, but can't he took remember. the tape off of that envelope. Sorry, no. Epic. So much help, Emma. That I can't. I love that I can't Thank even you. tell her that Simon just left. I can't even. This fucking this game is awesome. I fucking love this game. Ding. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, because I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Have you still got it? She recognizes the so tape from a couple so. months ago. Last saw the tape approximately two months ago. It's, okay. Approximately two months ago. Okay. 
be back later on, if that's okay. The window? Oh my god. No way. A few more questions, please. Taped over the broken window to make it safer. It's, there's no way they're talking about the same tape, right? Taped over the... where the fuck? God, there's so much shit. There's so much shit. Uh, broken pub window. There we go. Uh -huh. You last saw that sticky tape two months ago, is that correct? Yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? That's the same tape. Well, I must have been mistaken. You see... The reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same tape that was found attached to Kate's driving license, found at the scene. The tape that only Ryan has. Ryan, and of course, you. So what are you saying? You did it! Who's got the tape now? <laughs> you know <where laughs> That's what I'm saying! No. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? Problem? Well, you're practically accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. No, I wouldn't like to tell you anything. Okay, well, that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA, so if anything comes up on Kate's license, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. Right, I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca. Oh my God. Would you like to explain to me exactly what is going on? Which bit? The fact that some leggy bitch was trying to steal my husband? <laughs> what? I think you had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. Okay. You want to know what I know? Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail him. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore did it just for his money, our money. How did you oh work that out? Oh my I heard her. god. I knew it was her arguing with the Emma Bowman. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? She dropped that driving license thing when she came in. She, she was drunk, she dropped her bag. I took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake. And then I waited for her. When she came out, I... I told her where it was, said someone had just run off into the woods with it. You led her to the lake. She was reaching out over the lake to get it. I didn't do anything, she just fell in. But you let her drown. Oh. It was dark, I, I couldn't see anything, I couldn't help her. My really? God. Did you try, Rebecca? Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic, she was making these gurgling sounds. D that's did drowning! I that's drowning is what I that is! Pushed her down with it until she stopped. Well, she was dead anyway. What did it matter? You killed her, Rebecca. And she slept with my husband! She didn't, Rebecca. What do you mean? You got the wrong girl. <laughs> who? <laughs> Two Emma. cheeks! Oh my fucking god! It was Emma. <laughs> Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. Oh no! You don't have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. Oh my fucking you god! <laughs> so. It appears that Kate Vine's oh, death holy is a tragic shit. case of mistaken identity. But there are some loose threads here. Are you fucking what kidding? What was Ryan doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? What if I hadn't interrupted? 
Wait, yeah, what? what really happened to Liam last year? Yeah, what about Liam? Seems I've only scratched the surface of Atlas and the Rand business empire. Trying to find out about Paul Rand's past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. However, what is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, celebrities, business leaders. It's a pentagram! James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the mark after all. I get the feeling there's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business. <laughs> Excuse me. Atlas is closed for the moment, but we'll be open again very soon. Thank you for your interest. Dude, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I will reveal something to you now, chat. I don't know what happens in them, but I do know that there are multiple endings to this game. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the other ones. <laughs> I have to know what else can happen. What the liar ending? Huh? Is there anything else after the credits? Yeah, apparently there are multiple endings. I probably got, like, the worst one. I probably- If I had to guess, I probably got the worst one. Just from- just from the way that that ending was. That's gotta be, like, the shittiest one, right? You could bet you could have missed saving the girl? I thought there was only one true ending? The bad ending is that Jenks murdered her. Awesome. You can just replay anything. It's cool. Yeah, I think that there's multiple endings, because I saw a thing earlier that was like, all endings. Uh, truth revealed climax and ending. Hold on. Does anyone have like a, like a video that isn't fucking... No commentary. There we go. I was gonna say, can I find one that isn't like a fucking Let's Play? Maybe, maybe we did get the best ending. Maybe I'm wrong. Whoa, this video I'm looking at of someone else playing this, like, looks... The game, like, looks different. Like, the menu is different. Holy shit. Chat. We totally got the best ending. We, we totally did. Hold on, let me show this to you. No, definitely not. Look at this! This UI is like totally different! Have you seen this anywhere before? Uh, I've seen it somewhere, but can't remember. That's so weird. I wonder if this was like an early access game or something. 
Yeah, like, look at this. This the menu didn't even look like this. It's way better. How old is this playthrough? It's from 2020. It's weird. I don't know. That's iOS? This game is on iOS? <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, if I skip to the end here, it's, this, it's the exact same ending. 100% completed. Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. That's so fucked up. So you never, anything, you never get a different ending for like the fucking cult down, leaders. Used in evidence against you. It totally is fucking sequel bait. Yes. So, it appears that Kate Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken identity. But there are some loose threads here. That's fucked up. What was Ryan? That's fucked up. <laughs> Extremely fucked up. Uh, let's look at art. Because <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be the whole stream. Then I thought I thought there were other like endings that we didn't get, but I got maybe I was wrong. It would seem that I have lied to you outright. Uh, we've got some art here from Dr. Bodacious. Dude, fucking Jenks in the corner. I like don't even want to get rid of him. <laughs> They said, well, I won't be able to catch the stream. I can still submit this. Godspeed. <laughs> I'm a genius. I did it. <laughs> From Ryan Rand. <laughs> Dude, chat. Last night when we watched Young Frankenstein, that was my first time ever seeing that movie. That bit is so fucking funny. When he finds the book that just says how I did it. From Victor Frankenstein. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Venetius. It's very funny. Uh, Leon made this. Little margin doodle. Shut the fuck up, I'm scrying. <laughs> awesome. Glad you enjoyed that movie as much as I do. Yeah, it's like one of the best movies I've ever seen. That was before OJ, actually. Yeah, no, no shit. 1974. Thank you, Leon. Uh, Phoenix made this and said, Absolute shit sucker, James. What What do you know about insert subject here? I don't fucking know, dude! <laughs> I don't fucking know! Awesome. Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, and this last one is from LB Fable. Inspector, I swear to you, I am not addicted to morphine. Wow, you even put it on his head in the mirror, in the reflection. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not fucking addicted to morphine. Seriously. Uh, oh boy. Well, that's gonna be the stream, chat. That's gonna be the whole stream from me. Uh, I have some people to thank before we before we leave this place for the night. Uh, Hackmaster, thank you for the 16 months. Infernal Fae, thank you for the 12 months. Pecan Thunder, thank you for the 6 months. Melodious Gunk, thank you for the 3 months. Tiger Lily, thank you for the 25 months. Metal Manta, thank you for the 8 months. Zed's Meds, thank you for the $5. Hexblading, thank you for $100. Huge thank you. Uh, Swiftly Grizz, thank you for 3 months. Pancake Misery, thank you for the <laughs> new Prime sub. Awesome username. Zed's Meds, thank you for another $3. Animaniacs, thank you for the 21 months. And thank you for watching. Uh, chat, what's a raid message? That game was awesome, by the way, and they do have another game they made that is also an FMV game that I want to play at some point. Uh, it's not like that, but it, it's also an FMV game. 
So at some point we'll we'll definitely play that. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? I like that. There you go. Uh, is Robbie still streaming? Robbie's still going. Still going strong. I'm gonna raid Robbie. Uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow, chat. Or maybe Monday. Uh, but until then, I'll, I'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye!